Hello YouTube and welcome to another SQLite tutorial. In this video, we will see how to use the regular expression in SQLite query. So, are ready? Let's get started. So, in order to use a regular expression in SQLite query, you have first to install a model called per compatible regular expression. So, I go to my terminal here and I will install it using the command up gate install then the name of my model which is SQLite 3 minus Perl compatible regular expressions okay so I will hit enter so here now the model is being installed So it will take some time, of course. Okay, now we have installed this uh, extension. So in order to use it, let's see an example using the school database here on my desktop. Okay, so I will first connect to this database, SQLite 3, then the name of my database. Here we go. Now we can see the tables. So as you can see, we have some departments, the students and test tables. Okay. So the first thing to do if you want to use a regular expression in a query is to load the model. So we will load the model using the dot load command. Okay. And we give the path to that model so usually the model is installed in the directory user lib sqlite 3 slash the model name which is perl compatible regular expression dot co okay so now we have loaded the model now we can actually use regular expressions in our query so first let's just display the content of table students so i will use a simple query select all from table which is actually students here we go we have actually 11 rows so now we can use regular expression in the query to query this table here. So I will begin with simple one, where here we type the field name. So I will execute a query making a condition on a column student name. So I will type student name. Then we use the keyword reg x which stand for regular expression and here we can give the regular expression that we want to use so let's begin with uh, some simple one so i will just retrieve all the name that contain the word for example uh, let's say uh, double s okay here we go it gives me only one which is susan it contains this word here double s we can use another regular expression so for example it's display just the names that begin with the letter m and n so in order to do that we use the regular expression caret actually here okay then inside the bracket we can give the alphabet all the letters that we want our student name to begin with so I, will, I want just the student name that begin with either the letter M or N okay so here we go now you can see all student name that begin with the letter M or N okay I can use as an example uh, another regular expression I want the opposite of this I mean, I want all student name that, 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 that they don't start with M or N. So I will keep this one 
and I will actually put my carrot inside here okay so this expression regular expression means that we want all student names that their name doesn't start with either M or N okay so I will hit enter here et voila as you can see we have all students name that neither the name begin with M or N so with the help of this regular expression keyword here you can use whatever regular expression that you want in your SQLite queries okay so that was just uh, actually introduction how we can use it on Ubuntu Linux or Linux in general so just keep in mind that you have to install the Perl compatible regular expressions then we have to load the model then you can use your regular expression inside any SQLite queries as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye